Welcome to our videos on advanced features of Google AdWords. In this video, we'll get started with an A-B testing experiment. Okay, so here we are in the website optimizer area of Google AdWords. And I chose to go with the A-B testing experiment. So checklist. Before you start, make sure you complete the following. Choose the page you would like to test. Create alternative versions of your test page. Identify your conversion page. So I need to set that up now. First of all, let's choose a page. So I'm going to go to my FTP software. And OK, here I am in my FTP. And I'm using the free version of Ace FTP here. And we get an advertisement, but I find that for free software, it works incredibly well. So I'm going to be working with a site called demonstrationdomain.com. And if I go back to my browser, there, there's demonstrationdomain.com. There's nothing there at all, so we're starting with an entirely blank slate. So actually, as a first step, let's just create some web pages quickly. OK, I've opened up Dreamweaver, and let's keep things simple. Let's just have two pages. So I've opened up File, New, Basic Page, HTML, Create. And let's keep things very basic. This is Test Page 1. And that will do. And actually, one thing I do need, of course, is because this is just a demo page, it won't look like a proper page, of course, but we still need to be able to get to the... Okay, what does Google call it? A conversion page. So we need to be able to get to our conversion page. And what that means is, okay, here's just one quick example. A popular daily newsletter, Daily Reckoning. And on their front page, they have lots of free content. But one conversion they can track is describe here, get the daily reckoning free, click on that, you get a pop up. And this could be one of their test pages. It just has one purpose. What could people do on this page? They could either close it, or they could subscribe, which is what this company wants visitors to do. And there's another option. You can get a sample issue there, and that's it. So really, the goal they want, when visitors come to this page, they want visitors to become subscribers. So the page the visitors see after entering their email here would be the conversion page because it means the visitor has successfully converted to become an email subscriber. So let's say 100 people come to this page. 20 of them enter their email address, and the other 80 leave. That's a 20% conversion from visitor to subscriber. Now, let's say this company had two versions of this page, and they were testing one against the other. And one converted at 15% and one at 25%. Over a decent number of visitors, those conversion numbers become meaningful. So obviously, the page that converted at 25% is the best one to keep. So they could have two versions of this page appearing here, and whichever one works best over time to turn visitors into subscribers is the one they want to keep using, of course. And then that becomes the control. And then they'll keep testing new versions of the page to beat the control to create even more effective versions of the page. So that's what a conversion page would be. Back to Dreamweaver, and I have to be able to get to the conversion page somehow, so I'm just going to do a link. So go to Conversion Page. OK, and select that and make it a link. So let's say it goes to convert.html. And OK, let's save that. OK, I've saved it as test1.html. 
and now let's change it. This is test page two. And that's all we need to do. So file, save as, and let's save this page quickly as test two. Okay, that's done. And lastly, let's get a conversion page. This is the conversion page. And delete the link because we're already there. And let's do a save as as well. Okay, that's convert.html. So let's go to FTP, and over on the left is my desktop. And I want to select these three, convert, test one, and test two, and upload. Upload those to the root of demonstrationdomain.com. Okay, now, back to the browser, and back to demonstrationdomain.com. Refresh, and it's showing us the three pages. So if I click on test one, I see the test one page. Test two page looks just like that. And the conversion page looks just like that. So now, let's start integrating this with Google. Go back to AdWords. I have completed the steps above, and I'm ready to start setting up my experiment. So click and continue. And OK. AB experiment setup. Name your experiment and identify pages. Name your experiment. The experiment name will help you to distinguish this experiment from others. Your users won't see. So, okay, this is just for your own internal reference. So, A, B, testing, demo. Then, identify the pages you want to test, add as many variations as you like, naming them so you can easily distinguish them in your reports. At least two, including the original, are required. So, the control plus one at least. These URLs could be bookmarked by your users, so after your experiment is completed, you may want to keep these URLs valid. That's one option, I guess. What I would probably do after an experiment is done is I would delete the pages I'm no longer using and redirect them to a page of my choosing. Alternatively, you can just change the versions of page 1 and page 2, so even if they bookmark the page and come back to it, they just see a later version of the page. Okay, name, original. You don't have any choice in that name. Original page URL. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.demonstrationdomain.com. Forward slash test one dot HTML. And okay, it's telling me page found. Let's just it's checking again, and yes, it's finding that page. So I typed it in correctly. Name, let's say that will do. It's as good a name as any. Okay, page variation URL. Let's select all this. Control C to copy. Put the cursor there. Control V to paste. Change test1 to test2.html. And I could add more if I wanted. You can test multiple versions of the page but let's just stick with those two. Okay, identify your conversion page. I'm just going to control V again for a quick shortcut and change test1.html to convert.html. And okay, so that part's done and if I wanted to I could save progress and finish later, but let's just continue. Okay, AB experiment setup. Install and validate JavaScript tags. And JavaScript is a programming language that works in collaboration with HTML. So you can easily add JavaScript to your web pages for increased functionality. So who will install and validate the JavaScript tags? My web team will or I will? Let's go with me and continue. And it says, you should be comfortable with basic HTML editing, have access to your web pages, and be able to upload the tagged pages to your server. Continue. Okay, AB experiment setup. Install and validate JavaScript tags. Once you've pasted the JavaScript tags into each of your experiment pages and uploaded them to your website, click Validate Pages. 
OK, original page, add control and tracking scripts. So the original page is test1.html as we specified. So we need to add the control script to your original page, paste the following at the beginning of your original page's source code. I'll just click here and right click and copy. And OK, I've opened page one back up in Dreamweaver. Let's go to code view because we need to be working in HTML view here. OK, I have to say this description, paste the following at the beginning of your original page's source code, is not the most helpful of descriptions. So I had to do a quick check in the Google documentation just to get clarification. And actually, it's always a good idea to double check if you're going to be doing it yourself. Just check the details of what you're doing, following along with Google's instructions. OK, add the control script is what we're doing. Copy and paste the entire control script into the beginning of your original page's source. It should appear immediately after the opening body tag. That's more specific. So back to Dreamweaver. There's the opening body tag. So immediately after, press Enter, Control V to paste, and there we go. We've added it in the correct place. Now let's just double check. Back to the browser. Add the tracking script, copy and paste the tracking script directly before your page's closing body tag. OK, so back to AdWords. So we've added the control script. Now let's add the tracking script. Select that, right click and copy. So just before the closing body tag. Back to Dreamweaver. There's the closing body tag, forward slash body. Press Enter just to make a bit of room. Control V, paste, and there we go. Let's file and save that. Back to Google. OK, variation pages. Add a tracking script to each page. Paste the following at the very end of all one of your variation pages source code. And again, going back to the documentation, which is quite a bit more helpful, your alternative pages won't require the control code. They just need the tracking code directly before each page's closing body tag. OK, quite straightforward when they explain it like that. So we want this code, Variation Pages, Tracking Script. Click there with the left mouse button, right click and copy. And now let's go to Dreamweaver and open up. OK, we're done with test one. We can close that. Open up test two, and there it is. Go to code view, just before the closing body tag, right at the bottom of the document. Control V to paste. OK, file save. Back to the browser, and let's see what the next step is. Conversion page, add a tracking script. OK. Add the tracking script to your conversion page. Paste the following at the very end of your conversion page's source code. And again, just to double check to get a more helpful description, your conversion page also gets tracking script, which should be pasted directly before the closing body tag. Note that the tracking code is slightly different than the original and alternative page tracking code, so make sure you're copying and pasting the right one. And obviously, if you're testing more than two versions of the page, obviously you're adding this tracking script to each further page. So let's say you have one control page, one original page, and you're testing it against four other pages. You obviously add this tracking script to those four extra pages. OK, conversion page, let's just click that to select it. Right click copy, go back to Dreamweaver, and we're done with test two, so we can close that. Open convert, there's the conversion page, convert.html, go to code view, just before the closing body tag, 
put a few tabs in, and Control V, and there we go. And hopefully I've done all that correctly, so we can File Save and Close, and let's continue with all the steps that Google specifies. So we need to validate pages, but obviously before we do that, I need to upload the pages, and I'll continue with this process in the next video.